Well, now news from Washington. One day after the Senate failed to pass legislation, President Trump saying lawmakers have reached a short-term deal to reopen government without border wall funding. And the Senate voting to open the government for three weeks, time that will be used for continuing talks between lawmakers about funding for a border wall. The House is expected to quickly pass the bill and send it to the president's desk. Kenneth Bolton has the latest from Capitol Hill. Day 35 of the partial government shutdown, an end to the stalemate between the Democrats and President Trump. We have reached a deal to end the shutdown and reopen the federal government. The tentative deal, three weeks of funding. The president backing down from his $5.7 billion demand for a southern border wall, while a bipartisan group of lawmakers negotiates a broader border security agreement. Based on operational guidance from the experts in the field, they will put together a homeland security package for me to shortly sign into law. Democratic leaders are promising to operate Madam in good President, faith. Hopefully, it means a lesson has been learned. Shutting down government over a policy difference is self-defeating. 800,000 federal workers missing paychecks, lining up at food banks, struggling to pay the bills. At the IRS, more than half of the 26,000 workers recalled for the tax season didn't show up to work. This Coast Guard wife inside a food pantry in Connecticut, emotional as she watched the president's announcement. I want to thank all of the incredible federal workers and their amazing families who have shown such extraordinary devotion in the face of this recent hardship. If he doesn't get wall funding in three weeks, the president is threatening to shut down the government again or use his executive power to pay for the wall. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. Governor Cuomo responding to Trump's announcement today, saying, quote, is this what you call the art of the deal? Federal workers are not political pawns, and a shutdown is not a winning negotiating strategy. We cannot do this again in three weeks.